crew spent hours fighting the flames that engulfed a Forsyth staple Monday night. Hundreds crowded the courthouse lawn just across the street as they watched Ritz Cafe transform into a cloud of smoke. Among them, Nipper Bunn. It's a real loss uh, for the downtown area. Uh, many times people would eat a nice meal before they would come to our plays and other activities at the theater. He volunteers next door to the restaurant at the Rose Theater. He says flames and word spread like wildfire. It seemed as though the flames were able to work themselves to the front of the building. Uh, you know, I don't know how high they got, but they, they were certainly way up in the air. Crews say they contained the blaze to the cafe and kept it from spreading to other historic West Johnson Street buildings. But the popular southern eatery, they say, is a complete loss. What's left, Renee Boykin says, a snapshot that will forever etch the memory of many family outings at the restaurant. A great restaurant, gone, just gone. It's kind of sad, but it's kind of neat that a small town can all come out and be here, you know, for this support, I guess you could say. Hundreds of onlookers watched as fire crews from five areas stepped up and hosed down what remained of the cafe. We knew we needed more additional help. We've got uh, fire crews from Butts County, from Macon Bibb County, and Lamar County here um, as well. It's times like this, for Scythe Mayor John Howard says, the community comes together. I don't want to see any business destroyed here. I want to see them all thrive and I want to see them survive and I want to bring some more in here on top of that. So because like when we lose one, it's kind of like we now we got to start all over. The pictures tell a story of the community reaching out as a downtown hotspot left behind only smoky memories of Grits Cafe. Amy O'Bear, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News.